focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. I am Shivam. I am the business head for professional products business in Hindustan Unilever Limited. The single thing that I am looking for is conviction in what they are presenting today. My name is Sebastian Crotoni. I come from Switzerland. I am the regional sales director at Frédéric Constant, overlooking mostly Asia. Given the reputation of Lime, I'm really expecting a very comprehensive and deep analysis on the brand and on its positioning. Hi, I'm Anand Rangaswamy from CNBC TV18. I'm going to be focused on just three points really. One is how these case studies retain the Swiss heritage of the brand. Two is uh, I would like to see that whatever they do does not include wastage. And uh, the third is how they tackle the issue of uh, targeting such that they talk only to those who can afford the watch. Hello and welcome to season five of Lessons in Marketing Excellence. I'm Pavni Mittal and I'm at the beautiful grounds of one of India's youngest IMs. Yes, 17 year old IM Indoor is one of India's best B schools, but what it's really famous for is its flagship two year course that started in the UAE in 2011, making this the first IM to go global. Now IM Indoor is the first IM to introduce a program at the undergraduate level and also launch a flagship program in India's financial capital Mumbai with the campus in Navi Mumbai. Let's look at its line journey so far. The institute finished 10th in season 1 and dropped down to the last position in season 2. Season 3 didn't prove any better and it finally stood 13th. IM Indoor managed to improve its position in Season 4 where it moved up a few notches to finish 7th in the leaderboard. Will the Institute continue its upward streak in Season 5? Let's wait and watch. The case study for IM Indoor comes from Swiss luxury watch brand Frédéric Constant Geneve. The brand launched in India 4 years ago and competes with the likes of Rolex and Omega who've been present here for around 20 years. The strategy has been simple, target the affluent yet untapped corporate sector. The challenge for IM Indoor is to do a SWOT analysis of the strategy, map its current positioning and brand equity and devise cost-effective marketing strategies for Frédéric Constant. Cashing in on the brand consciousness of the untapped corporate segment, Frédéric Constant has developed a range of classical timepieces and has even launched a new line of watches in India with indexes engraved in the Devanagari script. Currently looking to expand its reach and positioning in the Indian market, Frédéric Constant has thus posed the line challenge to IM Indoor. The case is a complete overlook of the brand positioning and future developments in India, as well as a deep analysis on how to best market our products in the Indian market, embracing all aspects of our business model and environment. Given the excellent reputation of the participating institute, we expect an incisive analysis of the current brand positioning. So let's meet our two teams from IM Indoor. They call themselves Fresh Lime Soda, and the cataphracts. Okay guys, so are you guys geared up for tomorrow? Yes. Okay, so before we move on to your presentations, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to play our team challenge. And because the case study is all about watches and luxury watches, we're going to play around with the theme. Your challenge today is to go inside and get watches but they can't, the dial can't be round, the straps can't be black or metallic and the ones you collected from have to make you wear that watch because there are only two of you, only two of you guys will get to go and you have a minute to complete the challenge. Okay, so your time starts now. As I see, you've got 
four watches between the two of you and none of them are the ones that we wanted. They're both metallic and black. So you guys have managed to get no watch. And you've got a black watch, but you've got one blue watch. So by a very slim margin, you have won this challenge and you guys get to decide who goes first. We'll go first. Okay, so Team Fresh Lime Soda, you'll go first tomorrow. You guys will go second tomorrow. With that, it's time for a short break. On the other side, the teams will make their presentation and we find out which of the two qualify for the semi-finals. That's up in a bit. I think the Cataracts, they have a very good chance and it's probably because of the team composition. Personally, my favourites would be Fresh Lime Soda. For the matter of fact that I've worked with all the three members of, their, of that team and I find them really good. Welcome back. It's now time for our two teams to make their presentation. The team that wins today qualifies for the semi-finals, wins 50,000 rupees and a fast-track route to the pre-placement interview round at Hindustan Unilever. But before that, let's meet our jury. From CNBC TV 18, Anand Swami. Our brand mentor for today is Sebastian Cretigny. And from Hindustan Unilever, I have Shivam Puri. Welcome, judges. So let's call our first team, Team Fresh Lime Soda, that won the challenge yesterday and chose to go first to make its presentation. Team, you will have three minutes to make your presentation. At the end of three minutes, will sound a buzzer indicating the end of time. That will be followed by a Q&A with the judges. So, all the best. The time starts now. The objective of our analysis is to help Frederick Constant achieve long-term leadership in India by creating a strong, differentiated brand positioning and focus on the right target by leveraging its brand character. We conducted a primary research with watch lux luxury watch retailers in Mumbai to understand buying behavior and brand perceptions. The major insights were as follows. Indian luxury customers are extremely brand conscious. At the same time, they enjoy good value for money. Frederick Constant is perceived as a classic Swiss watch and is purchased more for its quality. From the SWOT analysis, we can see that gifting trend and increasing disposable incomes are opportunities which can be tapped by leveraging Frederick Constant's strengths like high quality and classic designs. Low brand awareness, however, is a major problem for the brand in India. So, we propose the following initiatives to increase brand awareness. As for segmentation and positioning, the corporate focus needs to be extended to professionals, which includes doctors, musicians, professors, lawyers, journalists, and other independent professionals. Passion for profession, craftsmanship, and design is the root strength of the brand which can be leveraged. A timepiece, a Frederick Constant timepiece is a reflection of one's passion and personality and hence can be targeted as passionate professionals. The marketing mix includes eight P's which are performance, pedigree achieved through heritage, paucity, persona through unique projection of passion, public figures, placement, public relations through events and other associations, pricing in the accessible luxury space. For short-term success, we propose an integrated campaign which includes events and associations, strategic advertising, point of sales, promotions, and very importantly, digital marketing and CSR. As top of mind recall for brand ambassadors is high, it is suggested to rope in passionate professions like Harsha Bogle and Chetan Bhagat. Brand awareness can also be increased through visibility in events like Luxury Expo and Mint Luxury Conference. Strategic events sponsorships like car shows, sports tournaments, and award ceremonies can also be done. Since digital is a common landscape for luxury consumers, the digital strategy should focus on building, building brand communities on social media. As part of green luxury initiatives, CSR activities like e-waste management and partnering with heart research institutes is vital. The Devanagari script watch can be branded as ethnically aesthetic and targeted towards people passionate about India. Primary research suggests that the watch was fancied by some politicians. This can be a focus area for future marketing efforts. Thank you. So my first question will go to um, extending our brand to professionals. I like the idea and I would like to know uh, what are your suggestions in that, using which channel, how to approach these people, etc. So what we propose is for channels, digital in a big way, because a lot of architects, musicians are currently online, visit popular websites, so advertisements on those websites, that can be one. Another important and a very uh, effective way we feel is by sponsorships and associations with certain awards. For example, the Padma Awards, the Arjuna Awards, they are all uh, targeting different professionals in different fields. So with Frederick Constant associating itself 
and uh, leveraging on passion, which is at the core of the brand, we feel this will be really successful. Would you define uh, billboards as a mass activity or a niche activity or what, uh, what is it? Uh, while billboards is mass, fairly mass, we have proposed billboards outside airports, strategically outside airports, because most of the target audience, uh, there's a high chance of, you know, uh, building short-term There's a high awareness. chance, but uh, everybody who goes on a flight can afford a, a watch like this? Not everybody, so but uh, what's our in-flight in uh, infotainment and advertisements will only be in the first class and the business class. That's what we propose. So, um, so tell me, see, in real business, you, and especially in this case, you have limited funds, right? You don't yes, have yes. like an infinite pool of money yes. to blow all over the place. Uh, and now if you were to target your money on all the vehicles that you have spoken about, media vehicles. So tell me, in order of priority, where will you want to begin? According to our research, digital is uh, the most cost-effective medium. And most of the luxury uh, customers are online, is what our research shows. So that's why we'll focus about 30 to 40 rupees out of 100 on digital, where we target different websites, different avenues, uh, social media, blogs, as well as mobile which is gaining a lot of prominence in today's world. Uh, the rest of the 60 can be uh, used because it's more uh, uh, expensive, so to say, on uh, uh, the non-digital part. Billboards and in-flight will be given less prominence, so least prominence to these two. But uh, an important part will be events and associations. You mentioned uh, events a few times, and um, one that you've mentioned in your, pro in, uh, in your presentation was uh, to associate with off-site, uh, yes. corporate off -sites. Yes. How do you see that uh, working? Our uh, primary research showed that even inquirers of the brand in retail stores were mostly business executives. So what we feel is, during an, an off-site, a lot of other discussions take place, uh, probably some activities, even not specifically an off-site, but specific activities around passion can be themed around Frederick Constant. For example, even corporate cricket or golf, which we've suggested for professionals, the winner of the tournament can be given a Frederick Constant watch. Sure. So that's the kind of you know relationship that we are associating with. You've uh, also made an interesting comment on uh, targeting political class. Yes. So my first question is, where did you pick that inside up from? And second, how would you target them? So how do you target like a political class? And third, more important, but then anything else is that this is a luxury brand yeah, coming from Switzerland. So that's the kind of positioning that you want. Uh, does political class in India have the right kind of association with that kind of a brand? As we mentioned, our primary research was interviewing watch retailers in Mumbai. So we went to this shop in particular called The Collective in the Palladium Mall, where uh, uh, this fine lady told me that, uh, you know, uh, this watch, this Devnagari script watch, which we have already, it was fancied by a lot of politicians. A lot of politicians entered and, you know, inquired about this watch. So, you know, they are people probably who want to showcase themselves as passionate about India. Even of however they may be perceived, they want to showcase themselves as passionate about India, which is in resonance with the brand. Uh, as we discussed, discussed, most of the political class, you can see them traveling through flights. So in-flight promotions is very effective in terms of political class, as well as we have in India governance awards. If, if Frederick Constant sponsors the governance awards, it will also be helpful to pitch it to the corp, like, like uh, politicians. Thank you. Thank you, team. With that, it's time for a short break. On the other side, team Cataphracts makes its presentation and we find out which of the two make it to the semi-final. That's up in a bit. Uh, we feel that the presentation went off pretty well. Uh, and uh, the question answers as well. I think, uh, except for one question, we answered the rest of them pretty well. We feel that we should have done a little better on the question answer part, but as far as we are concerned, we feel that our chances of winning is really high. Welcome back, you're watching Lime Season 5. It's now time for a second team from IM Indoor, Team Cataphracts, to make its presentation. Team, you will have three minutes to make your presentation. At the end of three minutes, we'll sound a buzzer. That will be the end of time. That will be followed by a question and answer session with the judges. All the best. Your time starts now. 
in order to analyze and propose a growth strategy for Frederick Constant in India, we have had to look at the fundamentals of the brand through a primary research-led SWOT analysis. What emerges out as the rich heritage of Frederick Constant is perhaps one of the biggest positive that Frederick Constant enjoys. Extensive primary research uh, through consumers having high disposable income across at different professional levels. Uh, for consumers, corporates and uh, entrepreneurs, we have had a look at uh, what Frederick Constant really has to offer. What we really come up to is that this one important question that everyone asks before making an important purchase like a luxury watch. And that is, how will my product be perceived by my peers and my associates? my acquaintances and this is where we come to conclude that even the numerical analysis suggests that corporate as a pie is good enough as a category is good enough yet uh, the focus should also be on marketing efforts which you know en enhance the touch bases beyond the corporates and Im impact and influence the corporate thereby we have uh, kind of focused on our brand uh, branding and marketing uh, energies on the brand core the brand values and the brand artifacts like the uh, the quality and innovation, the creativity and design, finally giving us the brand artifacts, which are the beautiful heartbeats. And finally, we get the brand equity built on the pillars of mindshare and market share. Uh, and this is what exactly our recommendations would do. Our recommendations for the promotional activities for Frederick Constant are threefold, and they go beyond the traditional uh, methods of uh, television, of print, or of out-of-door advertising. So the first recommendation that we try to say is to ensure that we increase our uh, digital footprint of, of the brand. This can be done through multiple ways. The first way that we suggest is that to increase these, uh, the optimization of the search engine. Secondly, possibly you can look at uh, the kind of activities that goes on Facebook. It's more localized for the Indian audience. Thirdly, you can also look at uh, the uh, availability of our products on online retail formats as well, such as Flipkart and Watchcart. Our second recommendation comes to the, um, the kind of association that we have with events. We already have a, a quite a good amount of events on our list, but what we suggest is that we can look at further ones like leadership awards, for example, the CNN, IBN's Indian of the Year Award, which can be, can be associated with, which deepens our relationship with corporates. Uh, our third uh, thing is specific to the corporate sector, where we suggest that we make available customized watches for corporate events. This will again deepen our engagement with them. Coming to the Devanagari uh, initiative, what we believe is that through our primary research, the modern Indian is more confident, more uh, proud of his own heritage. With this, we come up with a slogan called Live Your Heritage. Uh, we also suggest two collections, the Maharaja Collection and the Explorer Collection as well. The opportunities that you can look at for this initiative are your Indian festivals, Indian weddings, and gifts to foreign dignitaries and foreign expats as well. Thank you. First thing, you, you mentioned that the perception while purchasing a luxury item was a very strong fact and that would make the difference when you decide whether to buy this item or not to buy it. How do you see that fitting with your proposal of e-commerce? E-commerce being perceived a little bit less luxury than you know, being on a high street uh, shop. Uh, what we suggest is, for example, Watchcard, which is an Indian portal again, which is specific only for watches. And they concentrate on a lot of luxury watches as well. So if you're not associating them with, uh, with regular portals, such as maybe if you're not ignoring a Flipkart, which has a wide range of products that are available on the portal, you can concentrate specifically on only watch e-commerce portals like Watchcard, which is meant for watches, and it will not dilute our equity as well. Well, yes, I understand your point. But I believe that the experience that goes with shopping a luxury item is as important as the perception people will get when looking at your wrist. And therefore, this is why we have a question about e commerce our watches because, you know, it's a purchase of a high amount and are you ready to spend that amount on internet? That's also the question. When you put something like luxury watches to buy, a watch card comes up on the top. What they say is that when I look for a watch, they just want to understand what kind of watches are there, what are the prices, what the collections I have. He's not able to find uh, Frederick Constant there. Once he at least realizes Frederick Constant on the list there, he might at least search for Frederick Constant and then go to a proper POS to buy it. So at least the first leg of understanding and awareness will can be built at least through this online portal, if not the direct purchase at least. I want to ask you, have you tried to estimate what are the number of Indians who can possibly afford this watch, this brand? Have you tried to? Yes, then, sir. once you answer that, do you need to do anything except sell more watches to the same amount of people? We have done a numerical analysis and a proper estimation of what is the market size that we are looking at uh, for this particular kind of watches. So what we did was look at the kind of corporates that we are having because that is the primary target group. Look at some relevant industries like the manufacturing, the finance industry, real estate, education. And then perhaps when we filter them down, so what we are getting is a good collection, a good number of people. How many watches did they sell last uh, manufacture last year? So 12,000 watches. How many? 128,000. 128,000 oh, globally, sorry. Yeah, that's all. No, that's all they globally. manufactured worldwide right yeah right. so by, by what do they need to achieve now you know why do you have to talk to everybody why is brand equity an important thing 
because arguably those who buy the watch they know the brand liquidity so what we believe for example if you look at the sales figures for frederick constant as well 34% is coming through asia but they uh, they've been able to achieve much more success in china and compared to india and if you look at it, the swiss brands that are more popular here have been those that have been in the indian market for quite a lot of time whether it be redo it could be longines or etc they've been much longer in the market compared to us so what we believe is that Indians as such require the brand to be etched in their minds and they need to know that the rest of the people also know the brand so for that you need to build a brand equity you need to spend uh, some amount of money on a promotional activity some amount of money on building uh, these exercises such that that image is uh, built across a large number of people such that that equity builds up among those who are interested to buy the purchase the watch at least yeah so you have uh, mentioned a few locations or cities that you would recommend uh, the footprint increase to happen in so what's the basis or logic of uh, coming up with these four towns or cities as you call them uh, so so the first one is jaipur as you see uh, so the jaipur uh, the basic thing one of the collections that we are proposing is the maharaja collection and as we know rajasthan is perhaps the land of rajputs and is the land of rulers so what we are supposing and proposing is that because most of the high budget uh, you know kind of uh, marriages happen in places like jaipur and udaipur so if you have a store over there as a medium of gifting to people in that uh, big fat indian weddings would go up and that is a similar rational that we have for lucknow also so ba basically we are targeting those areas where the kind of expenditure on this gifts is high so i'm saying when you started doing this exercise of trying to figure out the locations did you not start with the basic metric of saying where do luxury consumers today stay Right. Definitely. Was that the logic that you have followed? So that was because you might have missed out on a few locations if you have not followed that logic. Sir, apart from that, we all, all looked at what are the existing uh, branches that Frederick Constant is presently sold in, hmm. and apart from that, what we saw is that what is the kind of proposition that we are giving. and what are the cities that actually fit into that proposition one more factor that we try to uh, consider is let's try to go in areas where perhaps there is not much con competition thank you thank you team i request you to please step outside while the jury deliberates and writes its final scores The judges did ask a lot of questions and I think we re did a reasonably good good, good job of answering them but yes a few questions were on the harder side I think uh, the team discussed the answers and we put forward our best answers um, in terms of our presentation it went good 3 minutes is always a less amount of time but we did whatever we could with the best okay so i'm going to ask the audience which is quite huge today nice to see who do you think won how many of you think fresh lime soda won okay and cataract Okay, um, the audience is correct. Fresh lime soda, you won the campus challenge. I am in the congratulations. Congratulations, team. With that. We come to the end of the campus round at IIM Indore. Join us next week. We'll be in Delhi where the team from FMS will be cracking a case study for cleartrip.com. Until then, thanks for watching. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.